Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to evolve your quail fish. And this is actually pretty straightforward, guys. It's not really the hardest thing to do. Um, in reality, all you really have to do is use the strong style attack for quail fish. And you have to use it more than 20 times in order for you to be able to evolve it. I don't know why. Uh, it's just a requirement on this Pokemon. I recommend that once you get your Quellfish, that you go ahead and go into the Obsidian Lands. Um, what, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it. The, the beginning area, simply because it is the easiest area where you're going to be um, able to, to battle a weak Pokemon. Obsidian Field Lands is what I recommend you do. Um, it is definitely the easiest place to to battle weak Pokemon so definitely recommend it to go there now I used it a couple times you got to use it several times to you get to 20 um, or otherwise you won't be able to evolve it so just get to 20 and you should be able to evolve it as you guys can see there's a Ponyta here it has to be the strong style so you have to master the style for the Pokemon as long as you master it, you should be good. And the cool thing about it is that it kind of tells you on the side of the screen how many you have defeated and how many times you have used it. For the most part, it will tell you. Alright, we don't really have any more of it. Alright, so we gotta go get more PP. Um, I ran out of it, so let's go back to the main camp. Fuel Lance Camp, and we're gonna heal our Pokemon that way we can get more PP again um, to be able to use it. I know that sounds pretty funny, <laughs> some people are gonna be laughing at this video. Um, but, anyways, let's continue and go ahead and throw it at, at another Pokemon or wild Pokemon again. In this case, we have Beedoof. I always like fighting these Beedoofs because they're easy. It has to be strong style attack. I don't know why, but it is, it is what it is. And there we go. We already got the first one attacked. And then we're going to go and attack the other ones. Hopefully, I can get them both together in one. Fortunately, not. The good thing is the battles um, here in the Obsidian Fieldlands it should be really easy. Um, as you guys can see, it only shows eight times that I used it. I don't know why, um, but it's gonna take a while. But it is one of like those research things as well. So if you want to get the evolution, you can. All right, we only need it a couple more times. Mm, 10 more times actually. I don't know why it keeps telling me I need it 10 more times when I already used it more than that. But anyways, let's go ahead and find more Pokemon. Sometimes they take a, 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 a little bit to appear. I don't know why.
Eevees appeared there as well. They tend to appear in these areas as well. Alright, I ran out of uh, moves again, so we're going to have to fly over here and go ahead and restore again just for a little while until I'm able to battle more Pokemon. So let's keep going. And the reason you want to evolve Quellfish is because it's going to be very important later on for you to do an adventure. So I definitely recommend you evolve him. The Starlies always tend to run away a little bit. Don't know why. Alright. We used it more than... Tw as you guys can see, we used it more than 20 times. And it's already indicating that I can evolve this Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and evolve it. As you guys can see, you should be set right there to evolve it. Just do that 20 times and you'll be able to evolve Quellfish into its evolution. Overquill. That's basically where you'll be able to evolve it to. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button.